it's Nella and I'm back with another video. We have just moved into our new home and we haven't really done much of anything except move stuff in. What I'm showing you now is my bathroom before we start our on DIY project um, redoing the bathroom. Redoing the bathroom on a budget. All right, let's go. All right, so here I have my husband helping and we are cleaning the bathrooms. I cleaned, like wiped down the counters and everything. These are the materials that we will be using. So the stuff for the floors, the paint, the tools for all of that we got from Good old Home Depot. Let's see if this. There it is. Home Depot. Let me see. I know you guys are going to want to know how much it costs. And I want to say that it was around 200 and some odd dollars. So when I find that, I will let y'all know down in the description. Um, this is the color paint that we are going with. And it is bare. Oh, he found it. The receipt. So for everything to redo the bathrooms, $227.51. So as we go along in this process of changing the dated bathroom to a more modern bathroom, it's going to be fun. Glad you guys are here to go along with us on the ride there i am hi the clothes on that i don't mind getting messed up in this whole process all right so we're gonna get started now i think we're gonna paint first right we're gonna paint first yeah. yes we're gonna paint first all right all right so i took the lazy way out and I did not remove the cabinet doors, which my husband said, you know, hey, I moved those, or removed those for you. And I was like, eh, eh, I got this. I'm not, uh, uh, no. I was just like, ah, oh, I'll do it how it is. And then I'll go through with um, paint and fix what I need to, but I'm really not worried about that right now. See, I got a little bit of paint there. I'll just clean that off and I'm gonna leave the knobs white because it looks like a really good contrast so I'm not sure if y'all can tell that with me halfway through this but the white looks really good on that I just figured I'd stop for a sec and like let you guys see what was happening with this color um, I actually really like it so I'm just my bathroom is small so I'm just using a, a little small roller here and then to get in the small crevices. I paint rocks and I have like this um, um, really small paintbrush here. Let's see if it focuses. There it is. To get into the small crevices like so. Yeah, so I'm trying to use my left hand. I am not a lefty. But anyways, that's why I have this. Just in case you were wondering. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this and let it dry evenly because right now I know it looks a hot mess whenever you're doing uh, DIY projects. Uh, sometimes it can seem a little bit overwhelming because it's like, holy crap, what did I do? I just butchered it, but there are still parts that are wet because I literally just did it and then grabbed the camera and was like, oh, let me you know, show them what's happening. Um, you know midway through my counters because like I said uh, counters <laughs> cabinets because I don't have a big bathroom so there's not much, that much to do so anyways I'm going to check back with y'all I'm thinking when I'm done with uh, the painting on the whole thing to let you see how well it dries because I really like it I'm very 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 excited 
for all of you to see when I get done with redoing the bathroom. Like I said, we're going to um, redo the tile in a very inexpensive way. We're painting the cabinets. We're going to redo the counter tops in a very inexpensive way. I'm going to show you that as well. And then put my decorations back up. I didn't buy any new decorations because I already liked um, what I had, which was the gray and purple stuff. I like my gray shower curtain. I don't think you can really see how pretty it is. Camera doesn't really do it any justice, but I really like it. So um, I'm going to keep the, the gray and the purple and different, um, you know, shades of purple in the bathroom. So I'm going to check back with y'all to let you see how the paint dries and turns out. Alright, so I'm not sure what time we started this. Maybe somewhere between, I don't know, 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. And it is now, what babe, like, I don't know, probably 2 o'clock in the morning. But as you can see, the cabinets are done. I went ahead and did this huge cabinet thing that was built in here. And my husband is putting the painter's tape up where he does not want paint at on his closet here. And then we're gonna paint that the gray color. Excuse me, honey. Excuse my hand. So what I'm doing now is um a cute idea I got from another blogger, which at this time I can't remember her name but what I will do is um, put her name here I'll insert it here uh, or the link in the description um, but basically what she did was the peeling stick to redo her countertops because as you can see this is just you know builder grade laminate so I'm changing it to this really pretty um, ash gray color and I think it's going to be really cute so so far this is what we have I really like the white knobs on the cabinets it's coming along very well I'm just trying to document as we go we've been at this for some hours now alright so I'm going to get back to this Basically what I'm doing is pulling this, uh, the part that the adhesive is uh, stuck to and then using this handy dandy thing here that came, well they didn't come with it, we bought it just to get all of the air bubbles out like, like so. And so far it's working really good and I haven't had any problems so. I'll let you guys see what it's like when we are finished with doing the countertops. But this is the starting process of what I'm doing here. Alright, I'm going to follow back up. I'm back and what I've done here is done one row. And I just wanted to show you guys something like right up in, in here. We have a piece of the, the cabinet. Wait, were y'all able to see that? It's my camera. Right in here. So I have this little handy dandy tool that came in the pack. Not with this, um, not with this um, uh, peel and stick paper, but with this. Whatever you call this. In the description, can y'all tell me what this is called? Whatever this is that I've been using to like straighten out this paper. Anyways, these two things came together. So if you find yourself in this position, just use this little razor here to cut um, off unwanted um, material that you don't need. So that's what I'm going to do here. I just was like, oh, I probably should, you know tell them that and, and show them 
but I'm using to do that with. So I'm gonna finish this because I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. So I'll be back one more time. How's it going over there, babe? It's going good. He's doing his closet. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up? So you guys, the last little clip for this one, I was talking about how we were up to like, uh, I don't know what I said, somewhere between the hours of one and three. Yeah, no, mm-mm. Cause when I looked at the clock to go to bed, yo, it was like 5.30 and then I was standing in here looking because I didn't finish the counter. I was so super tired. My husband was too. And I was like, oh, it looks so good. And then we came up with this amazing idea. Well, I didn't come up with anything. My husband did. See how I just tried to take his credit? That's what we do. Anyways, to um, paint the, the trim here. And let me see. Can y'all see that? This, right? And then put a little backsplash from here all the way around. Ignore our toothbrushes. I had to take those out because you know I said we had to brush our teeth this morning. But um, overall, the process, you know, it's going pretty, pretty well. I took um, a knob off to take with us to Home Depot because I decided that, you know, I really want... I really want more of a, I need a screw too? Okay. Uh, I need more of a, a sparkly fill in the, in the bathroom here to go along with um, our gray and purple bathroom. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm so excited, look how cute the paint came out. Didn't start the, the floor yet, obviously, but we were up all night doing that. And, that's, those are the uh, pill and stick. We'll talk about that later. Pill and stick. Um, tiles. Uh, not tiles, I'm sorry. Planks for the floor. They're absolutely beautiful. We, we, we redid my aunt's school with those, and it looks absolutely beautiful when you walk in. Here's that cabinet that was built into the bathroom already that I was telling y'all about. Came out so good. I'm so excited with the way that it dried. My husband is still working on his closet. So I want to tell y'all something else too before we get going because we got to go to the store. But around these, because I'm so extra, if y'all ever just if I ever show y'all like my wedding pictures and stuff like that, I love sparkly things. So there's gonna be like a sparkle trim that goes around these indents that are here on each one of them. So I'm really excited about that. So we're gonna head to the store to get more materials and things that we need. And um, I'll be back. <laughs> 